Hello, everyone, and welcome to Blue Ocean. I'm Liam Newman, and this is the second in my series of videos showing you how to use some of the cool features of Blue Ocean. In the previous video, I showed you how easy it is to create declarative pipelines using the new Blue Ocean Pipeline Editor. In this video, I'll continue from a little beyond where I left off, and we'll look at the Blue Ocean Activity Viewer, which is what you see here. I'm going to show you how it displays overall project status, console logs, branches, pull requests, build artifacts, and test result details. I've been doing some iterating and debugging since my last screencast, and in that process, I've used the activity view to drill into the logs of my pipeline runs. And here's one of my favorite features of Blue Ocean. Not only does it divide my console output by stage, it also matches the output to each step as well. And that means when I want to understand what's happening or has happened in any step in my pipeline, I can go directly to the output for that specific step. It also autom automatically tracks the duration of each step, so I don't have to keep using timestamps to figure out how long my step took to complete. And there are two other sections to the activity view. Under branches, I can track the overall health and latest run result for each of my branches. If it's currently running, like this one, It'll also show me where it is in that run. And under pull requests, I can see, of course, my pull requests. Now, I don't have any pull requests yet because I was doing all my editing in the blog Blue Ocean Editor branch. I could do just one pull request of that branch in a master, but to give you a better sense of how this process looks in Blue Ocean, I'm gonna do several separate pull requests. I'll start by aborting my currently running job. You can see Blue Ocean shows that now and shows that as my, the latest status for that branch. Then I'm going to switch over to uh, the pull request view on GitHub. And I'll start by creating a, a minimal pipeline, um, just a single stage with a single step, outputs a message, just like we did in the previous video. Of course, Jenkins picks that up and shows it to me under pull requests. Uh, this is a pull request in the master from a branch in my fork. Like last time, if it succeeds, it should go in a few seconds. And there it is. Great. Well, I'm going to go ahead and merge that pull request into master. And then I'll go open up a, a new pull request uh, for the next iteration that I already have prepared um, in another branch um, in my personal fork. Hmm. So. This time, uh, this will be a full Maven build, like in the previous video, with Maven install and then using JUnit to process test results and uh, an archive step to, to archive the build artifacts. Create the pull request. And back in the activity view, we can see that master is now, uh, has already run for that minimal pipeline, and my new pull request is now built in. When we look at the branches section, we can now see the most recent results for two branches instead of one. And when we look at the pull request section, we can see the results for, for my pull request. I may need to cut ahead here because this is going to take probably five minutes to complete successfully. Um, let's see. Oh, no. Well, it failed. Uh, let's find out why. Hmm. Yeah, well, I've been seeing this Java home not defined correctly thing occasionally on this Jenkins instance. At least Blue Ocean made it easy for me to find this. It took me right to the error. In the real world, I'd go chase this down, but uh, for the sake of the length of this video, I'm gonna go ahead and just rerun this and then skip to after the pull request uh, run has succeeded. Now I can go ahead and look at the logs for any of the steps, look at the changes. Um, Blue Ocean will also show me the count of the tests that succeeded and I can even go look at the build artifacts. The, the log is actually kept also in there as a, as a build artifact. Everything looks good, so I'm going to go ahead and merge this into master as well. And then I'm going to move on to one more pull request that I've prepared. Let's see. Um, right, there it is. In this pull request, I've intentionally created a commit which causes a test failure. I've just added a string to one of the, ch one of the asserts. It looks like my editor did some white space cleanup, but really the point here is I added wrong to the uh, assert string. 
Anyways, uh, I'll go ahead and create the, the pull request here. And Jenkins is already building master. And now it'll also pick up the, the pull request. Let's see, I can look at it here and uh, I've already, it's already got, gotten to the initialize stage. That's good. So no Java home problem this time. You can look at the, let's see, what else do I want to look at here? Um, go, I'll go back. Uh, one other thing that the activity view lets you do is filter uh, based on branch. See, I can go and look at uh, master and then see the, the, the currently running job for that. Looks like it's made it to running the tests. Great, great. Go back here. Everything's running along pretty well. I'm going to go ahead and cut forward here uh, to after these two uh, jobs have finished. There we go. Now, in the pull request uh, with the test failure, the JUnit step processed the results and set the run result to unstable, as expected. And in the test section, BlueOcean takes me directly to the failing test log output. So I can quickly analyze the failure and go fix it. I mean, in this case, I know exactly what the problem is already, but you get the idea. For a more complex issue, I could also download the artifacts that have been stored and debug them locally. But let's move on. I'm going to create a commit to fix the error that I introduced. Just return the string to how it was before. Commit, push that. And Jenkins picks that up and uh, starts the pipeline run for it. I'm going to cut ahead here to another five minutes after this job has succeeded. And let's go look at the test results for this. Uh, everything passed. Blue Ocean tells me that 415 passed, but I can also look at the uh, output for the test that was fixed. Uh, double check the log output just to make sure. I can also review what the commits were that were added to fix the issue that I was seeing. I can also download the artifacts as expected. Everything looks good, except uh, GitHub should be showing me that this uh, commit passed. Let me refresh. There it is. Uh, Jenkins, of course, uh, building on top of the multi-branch pipeline, uh, reports status back to GitHub. And I'll go ahead and merge this pull request now. Let's see. All right, back to Blue Ocean. Jenkins has picked up my last merge, and the pipeline for the master branch is running one more time. I can go ahead and filter to show the activity on master, or maybe the history on my uh, pull request. Let's take a look at that. There we go. As it goes from failed to unstable to passing. And instead of waiting for that pipeline run to finish and then cutting ahead, why don't we just stop here? This is what I'll be showing you next time, the Blue Ocean dashboard where you can monitor not just one pipeline, but see the overall view of all of your pipelines in one place. Thanks for watching.